In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Traction 5 on OS X. First, go to the Traction website, and that's at www.traction.com. Go under Account, and then click on Downloads. If you haven't yet purchased Traction, you just want to download it to try it, click on New Customer. If you do that, you just fill in this form, and you'll get a user ID and password so you can download and install the demo version. But if you're already a member or you've already purchased Traction, then just log in right here. This will show you your software licenses, and then from here go to Account Downloads. And we're interested in Traction 5, so I'm going to click on Traction 5, and that opens the different tabs for the different versions of Traction. Now in this video, I'm going to walk through the installation on the Mac version, but you'll find that it's almost the same when you're installing on Windows. Your first decision is whether to install a 32-bit or a 64-bit version of Traction. You can install one or the other. You can even install both on the same machine. The real difference is if you have plugins, virtual instruments and effects that run only in 32-bit mode, then you would need a 32-bit version of Traction. If you've updated all your effects to 64-bit and you have 8 gig of RAM or more, which it says right here, and you're on a 64-bit operating system, then you can use a 64-bit version of Traction. So since I'm on a 64-bit operating system and I have a lot of RAM in my computer, I'm going to use a 64-bit version. Also, I've updated all of my plugins so that they're 64-bit capable as well. So I'm going to just click on the Traction OS 10 installer. And that starts the download for the Traction installer. And you can see that that happened really quickly because the installer is actually a very small file. I put it here on my desktop, so to get going, we'll just double click it. Now on Macintosh, this loads as a DMG disk installer. If you're on Windows, it'll be a .exe file. Double clicking that file will start a wizard that will walk you through the installation. On Mac, you simply drag the icon to the Applications folder like that, and installation is already done. From there, you can go into your Applications folder on your Macintosh, double-click it and run it. Once it's running, you probably want to save it in the dock so you can launch it at any point. I've already done that here. So I'll click on the Traction 5 icon. You'll get this message saying that it's a 64-bit application downloaded from the internet. I'm going to go ahead and open it. After Traction 5 goes through the startup window, you'll be presented with the projects and settings. The next thing you want to do is register your copy of Traction, and you do that in the About box. So go to the About box by clicking down here where it says About in the lower left-hand corner. Here you see all kinds of information about Traction, but you want to click right here on Unlock. Once you've done that, put in your email address and password and click Register. And you'll see Traction Unlocking. Traction is now unlocked for this computer. Thank you very much. Click OK, and we're ready to go. And that's all there is to installing Traction on your Mac computer. Thanks for watching.